Hi there, Saber Crypto here. Okay, so good news, I think, because last night I got to use the ZoidPay app for the for the first time. Uh, so what I did last night was I did the KYC. Now, there was a bit of an issue at first because I wasn't getting the SMS through to verify that it was me. I did wonder if this was something to do with the UK having a problem. Um, so I actually DM'd Mihai. I think it's Mihai Popescu, and uh, he sorted me out. It was something to do with the fact that I wasn't in the database or something. It might have been because I'd been testing the app before with a slightly different email address or something like that, but it got sorted anyway. There was also a slight issue when I was doing the KYC because when I was doing the selfie, the app just kind of hung at this point. Now, apparently that's an ongoing problem with the people who are providing the KYC service. And all I did was I just restarted the phone, just went back into it the next time around. It did it. And it actually did all the KYC stuff like really, really quick. It seemed to be approved like in seconds. And then for adding the card to Apple Pay, I just entered the details manually and that worked straight away. And then as soon as I'd done that, I got a transfer from Edward Onichi uh, for 10 euros. Okay, so that was 11 o'clock last night. And I had promised in the Telegram group that I would buy some beer with it, okay? So it was a bit late last night because I went to bed. So this morning I went to Morrison's and I bought some of my favourite beer, four cans of it, that was £6.25, okay? Now that showed up here in the transaction history, uh, €7.41. So we'll look at that in a minute, but just going to show you that. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at me doing it. It's quite a funny video because I think the lady helping out with the self-service checkouts wondered what the hell I was up to messing around with two phones trying to make a payment. I think she thought I just didn't know how to use the, the payment thing. Okay, so here I'm at Morrison's, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy this beer here, right? Uh, it's a bit early to go in a pub, so I'm buying it in the supermarket. So I'm going to say no bags, all right? All right. Hey, I'm making a video. It's the, it's the first time I've ever used this app. I make crypto YouTube videos, you see. You see and so I'm using this app for the first time ever. So it's all quite exciting, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so right, I'm going to pay with card contactless, right? So, there you go. So, there you go. Zoid Pay. So, there you go, it's done. And that works all well. So, yeah, you can see here that it was £6.25 for St. Austell proper job. Excellent beer, by the way, made in Cornwall, England. Uh, if you get a chance to have any, then do. Uh, they have it in cans, bottles, and on draft in pubs. Although the beer you get in the pubs isn't as strong. It's only 4.1% whereas the other ones are 5.5, so it was quite hardcore stuff. So thank you very much, Edward, for buying me some beer. Now, there are a few things to note, and one of them is the fact that when I'd done that, it still said uh, 10 euros here. So what you have to do is kind of pull it down to refresh it. Uh, that apparently is going to get changed in the next release. Uh, it will sort of auto-refresh, so you won't have to sort of pull it down like that. The crypto wallet, at the moment, it appears to have like Ethereum, Bitcoin, BNB, um, but it seems like you can receive, you know, various other tokens, including ZoidPay, of course. Now, what I wanted to know is if I could spend ZoidPay with the card, because I'm going to go away for a couple of days at the weekend, and it'd be really nice just to take the ZoidPay from my super farm and uh, spend that during the weekend and make videos about it. But unfortunately, I don't think I can just yet. Um, I did query this with Mihai Popescu, and this was his response. Actually, I asked him two questions. The first one saying that for now everything is in euros. How will GBP be handled in the future? Uh, and to that he replied, with time we will add support for more fiat currencies. The target being a multi-currency IBAN account. This process depends on regulatory setups and a lot of paperwork. So we can cannot provide a concrete timeline for this. Okay. Uh, the second question was, when will I be able to spend ZoidPay or other cryptos directly from the card? Okay, now his reply to that was, the top-up with crypto feature will be made available in the coming weeks 
as an update to the application. We are making features available to the community as we receive and implement the feedback from the community. Okay. And he says, we want to focus on certain functionalities in certain waves of testing in order to take advantage of the support from the community compared to a traditional fintech. That's weird, traditional fintech, isn't it? Because <laughs> this is not, this is like an advanced, you know, modern fintech. Um, anyway, compared to a traditional fintech, we are also a crypto company which comes with the possibility of building together with people like you. Oh, thanks. Okay, so that's good. Um, I did ask if there was any way to top up the card now at all. And at the moment, Mihai said no. So we are still in the testing phase, but I think things are looking good, aren't they? Things are starting to happen. Now, just for the record, the amount I paid was actually seven euros forty-one. Okay, and looking here on the current exchange rate, uh, six twenty-five pounds sterling GBP in euros is seven thirty-one. So, so there's only like ten cents difference. That's kind of looking good because I know when I did something the other week with the BitGet card, the actual kind of exchange rate was pretty lousy. So this is looking good. And as far as the actual token price goes, I mean, not a lot of people know about this testing. Not a lot of people know about the Super App at the moment. And I think there's only like 85 of us actually testing the Super App. So at the moment, you know, nobody knows about this. But when they do, I think it's going to be great for the token price. I mean, the whole of crypto took a hell of a battering yesterday. And Zoidpay is still there at like 1.37 cents. I think it's a bargain, you know but not financial advice, of course. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please do give the video a like. And make sure you are subscribed and you've got the notifications set and all. And above all, tell your friends.